Good day viewers. Welcome to our first lesson for grade 9 home economics, learners and interested viewers. My name is Epi Kanyuka. Today we are going to talk about food and nutritional guidelines for Namibia and nutritional care. There are 10 food and nutrition guidelines for Namibia you learn about in grade 8. It's very important to follow these guidelines to reduce the number of people suffering from malnutrition and nutritional disorders because of an unbalanced diet. At the end of today's lesson, you should be able to comment on the necessity of the food and nutrition guidelines for Namibia, state the disorders associated with the following dietary components, fats, cardiovascular disease, sugar, dental cavities, energy, obesity, PEM, salt, kwashiako and marasmus, fiber, constipation and colon cancer. There are 10 food and nutrition guidelines for Namibia you learned about in grade 8. It's very important to follow these guidelines to reduce the number of people suffering from malnutrition and nutritional disorders because of an unchanging and inappropriate diet. Eat a variety of food. Eating a varied diet can ensure that all the nutrients and other substances needed for good and health is consumed. Food contains combination of nutrients and other healthy substances, but no single food can supply all the nutrients in the amount needed. Eat vegetables and fruits every day. Vegetables and fruits can help to prevent these deficiencies because they are rich in vitamins, especially A to C, and minerals. Eating vegetables and fruits daily is therefore recommended because of the beneficial role these foods play in reducing the risk of cancer and other chronic diseases including coronary heart disease. Eat more fish. Fish is useful in many ways as part of a healthy diet. Eat meat or beans regularly. Meat and beans are good source of protein, iron, and vitamin B. This refers to the whole group of meat such as beef, pork, game, poultry, and fish. Beans group consists of legumes such as groundnuts, lentils, and peas. It is advisable to regularly include beans or meat in their diet. Beans and meat are observed important in specific populations such as pregnant and lactating women to prevent anemia. Use whole grain products. Grain products such as millet, maize, sorghum, and wheat are the most important source of energy in the Namibian diet. Whole grain and food made from the whole grain flour contains fats, fiber, and useful amount of calcium considerable less of the above mentioned nutrients and therefore not as healthy as whole grain flour. A high intake of whole grain flour will help to reduce the risk of getting pellagra, obesity, and diabetes that occur frequently in Namibia. Use only iodized salt but less salt. Iodine is important for the proper growth and development of the body. A lack of iodine in the diet can cause deficiency disorder such as goiter or mental retardation. Iodine is found in seafood and many Namibians suffer from high blood pressure by consuming less salt. The risk of getting blood pressure can be reduced. Eat 
Eat three meals a day to ensure that everybody receives all the nutrients and other healthy substances their bodies require. It is advisable to eat three balanced meals every day. This is especially important for children who cannot eat enough in one or two large meals meet their nutrition needs. Avoid drinking alcohol. Alcohol abuse is the cause of many health and social problems. The regular consumption of large amount of alcohol increases the risk of developing high blood, strokes, heart and liver diseases and certain cancers. Consume clean and safe water and food. Water is essential for life. It is needed for drinking and preparing drinks, but also for washing and cooking for cleaning utensils and for washing hands. The quality of water and food is important for good nutrition and health. Unsafe, dirty water that comes from dams and open wells and rivers and not treated or boiled is a major health risk. Achieve and maintain a healthy body. A healthy body weight is the result of a healthy lifestyle and nutrition and the absence of disease. In Namibia, underweight as well as overweight occur as a result of poor nutrition. A normal body weight is vital for the proper physical and mental development of a child. Every child's height and weight should be checked regularly by health professionals to monitor their healthy growth. Nutritional care. This refers to the substances, the procedures and setting that ensure the proper intake and assimilation of nutrients. In simple terms, a good diet is part of the equation in maintaining good health. The following health disorders are associated with dietary components. Too much fat causes cardiovascular disease or coronary heart disease. Too much carbohydrates or energy causes obesity. Too little protein and energy causes protein energy malnutrition, kwashkwa and marasmus. Too little fiber causes constipation or colon cancer. Too much salt causes high blood pressure or hypertension. Too much sugar causes dental cavities or carriers. In conclusion, let's look at what we have learned today. We have learned about dietary components, health disorder, definition of nutritional care, the food and nutritional guidance for Namibians. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye, until next time. Sanitize your hands and wear your mask at all times.